All right, it's Saturday. Saturday afternoon, probably four o'clock. Uh, this is day two of clearing trees out, down trees. We got all sorts of stuff going on in the neighborhood. Trees down everywhere, power lines down everywhere. Uh, probably won't get a video up this weekend. Uh, we have no power for maybe a week. So uh, stick with us, doing my best. I won't be able to do anything until they restore power. Uh, we have no power within 50, 60 miles of here. Um, so we're going to keep cleaning up, save the neighborhood here, me and my little chainsaw, and uh, we'll get back to you. As one exits the office, the auto refinery headquarters, they walk out to the shop area, they meaning me and John and Joe, and this is the view. This is the view of the workshop area, and this is the Mr. Jones body, and after the next hour, I won't be looking at this anymore, because we're towing this thing out of here, and it's going to get put into winter storage so that we can get the frame in. And for me, let me see if I can dial you guys back here a little bit. Burp. Wrong way. For me, this is a big deal. This is a very big deal because for two years, I've been working on this body. For two years, we've been saving this rotted out piece of you know what. And putting in floors and putting in package trays and rebuilding rear window sills and saving the rear window and putting in a trunk floor repairing the lower quarters putting in rear the the, the uh, trunk weather strip channel patching in the lower quarters and saving the original quarters Saving the wheelhouses, saving the cow tag and the VIN tag, welding in another section of a dashboard. Yikes, guys. <laughs> How come nobody stopped me? Two years. Two years this thing has been in here. Two years ago, we wheeled this car in in one piece. It was a one piece car. And now, actually, October 8th is the two year mark. It's off the rotisserie. It's on this makeshift body cart, which I kind of built like a piece of Jenga because I really wanted the rotisserie to lower the body onto the cart and not occupy the same spaces. So the mounting plates that we made, you guys can go back and watch, the mounting plates that we fashioned onto the rotisserie slip under here into the factory body mounts. Do not interfere with how the body shell sits on the cart. So in theory, this body cart can be used for other A bodies anyway. All right, what's gonna happen here today is Big J's coming over. We're gonna hook the utility trailer to the Chevy. We're gonna roll the frame that is for Mr. Jones off. We're gonna roll the body on. 
We're going to take it to storage where he keeps the silver El Camino. Cover it up, and that's where it's going to stay. We're going to roll the frame in here, and that is going to be our new view, guys. That's going to be what we're working on. To the point of nauseam, yes, but we're going to turn... We're going to turn the framework into as much of a geek fest as we can. All right? So let's get to work and make magic happen. It's nonstop action around here. Actually, I'm about to hook up the truck to the trailer. Joe is down in Georgia going to a uh, Cars and Coffee with Rich, who we got the original W31 from because he lives in South Carolina. And they're doing a Cars and Coffee. Boy, that sounds hot. They're doing a Cars and Coffee uh, somewhere, I guess, around Georgia, somewhere in, near where Joe is. Joe's 70 QB actually breaks down on the way there. And he gets a hold of Rich. Rich isn't there yet. Rich stops by in his AMG Mercedes. And they check out the old hot rod that Joe's got, and they get it run. And I guess they're on their way to the car cruise right now. So that's happening down there and this is happening here got the silverado wipe down the saturday morning wipe down man his silverado is a beautiful thing clean that up gonna hook this up now and hopefully john brings the el camino and he's gonna help me load some stuff around and we get to transport this in unison maybe we'll do a car cruise or something today too always stuff going on this is this is part of it right you just gotta Plan the logistics, plan the steps, what happens first. If you do that right, uh, the next step uh, gets you where you're headed. All right, let's get to hooking up some trailers. All right, a little progress. The OG's out. Truck and trailer are right here, poised, ready to go. We're going to roll the body cart over to where my car normally sits. Then we'll roll the frame in. roll the body onto the trailer. And then I can put my car back in the garage unless we decide we're gonna go for a cruise or something. And that's that. Uh... It's not like it's going away forever, but I am having a little bit of like emotions here. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you create something like this and you're used to seeing it in your space for so long. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to walk down here and not see this thing. But it's cool because it means we're making progress. It means that inside of two years, we got this thing to a point where it doesn't have to be in here and I don't have to work on it every day, every week we can move on to the next, which is saving this thing. And again, once this thing is in the garage, we're going to talk about uh, what makes this frame special to this car. There's really nothing special about this frame in particular, other than that it belongs to, to that particular car. And yes, we have a lot of work to do to save the frame. And yes, it would be easier to find another frame. But I ask you all, since when do we take the easy way? We don't take the easy way. It might be, it might be our uh, biggest, our biggest character flaw <laughs> is that I think John and I, in particular, certainly Joe, because he follows our lead. Certainly, John and I are of the opinion that if it's not difficult and if it's not hard and if it doesn't take forever. And it's not worth doing, I guess. All good plans, right? We're pushing the thing out. Big J's here to make this whole magic happen. And we got the trailer. See how we scratched the driveway all up like a snowplow? We got the trailer right here where we wanted it. So we could roll the body onto the trailer. And then John says, what about that? Which is the lack of space between the roof of the car and the roof of the garage. Once it was going up the ramp, it started getting taller. Man, oh man, wouldn't that have been something to cave the roof in on the car? Sweet. We'd have had the rest of the day off. Yeah. After we sunk this in the river. Put it in the river. Yeah. So, plan, uh, plan it's L. Plan B, I think. Oh, we're only, oh plan B. Plan... Only, I think it's going quite well for 
we're just gonna roll a piece of junk outside and get and get a look at it, and then we'll get on the trailer and you'll flat it. Just hook a strap right up to there. This is the parade float. Yeah, we're only like five miles away. <laughs> just, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll sit there like I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, why would you pull me over, officer? I don't understand. It's not even a car. Can you really even give me a ticket? I'm a cabinet maker. That's yeah. not how I do frames. All right, all right, let's roll it outside. This will be cool because this is the first time it's coming outside since it's, uh, I don't know, rebirth. Now we're coming out. Okay, nice and easy. Yeah, that's a bump. That's okay. I'm going to grab it right here by its face. You're, you're doing the steering, Miss Daisy. How's that thing look outside for the first time? And well, two, October eighth will be two years. Yeah, we are ahead of schedule. All right, good. I've seen enough. Let's get it out of my sight. <laughs> There it is, we're ready to travel. We're gonna take it to a storage place. Last I checked, it's a relatively straight body, so I promise nothing. We get there, we get there. It looks like it looks when we get there. Yeah, no windows. All right, John's gonna follow me in the El Camino. Yeah, and the El Camino's working. Oh, the El Camino's working. We have a, P yeah, right, it's doing. No, it's got a piece of Mr. Jones right in it. Oh man, see? It'd be cool to have a trailer hitch on it. Mine's mine's gonna have a trailer hitch. Yeah. Okay, we will catch up with you at the next spot. Towing very precious cargo. I got the body of Mr. Jones behind me. You know, there's uh, a lot going through my mind here. This is a pretty all-encompassing, all-inclusive project. And there's over 700 hours in this car. And I'm towing it, and I really want to get it there in one piece. John's behind me in the El Camino, which you can't see. There it is. On its first road trip since it came up here in, uh, I guess it was June, two years ago. So let's get it there.
Actually, if there's a hot rod, we run them over. Yeah, okay, not a problem. Now, hold on. I mean, that's probably a little... I'm a, let me clear the path. A lot of grandkids here, you know? Anyone who has kids understands this problem. So this is what I do. There you go. Put your stuff away. <laughs> I'll take it out. Oh my God, that was so laborious. No, it was really, <laughs> it was really, as a lot of things we do, man, it was just non-climactic. We were trying to overthink it and then we just rolled it in. Yeah, sounds like, why are you overthinking it, just for fun? So that's how it works. This is actually the, this is a little bit of a sacred spot we're in here now. This is. This is it, this is John's OG cabinet shop. Started right here. Started his business right in this place. So this Crazy. Is, this is as cool of a vibe in this little shop as there is in my house or his house. But this is where the Silver El Camino resides on a daily basis. So it's going to be in good company, it meaning this. But not a lot of work gets done in here, although you did rebuild the front end in here. Yeah, yeah. Maintenance work happens here. Anything really major, I bring it to the shop I have now. Yeah, yeah. So... It's cool. This is going to be a good resting spot for the fuselage here. We're going to get back home and channel our efforts into framework. John and I are going to flip-flop. He's going to get to body work in short order. Yeah, yeah. We should have the, the frame should be rolling, rolling frame, uh, drive train in. I think the plan is, it might not happen today, but the plan would be to get the rotisserie over to his place to get the body on the rotisserie. And then I'll start framework. He'll start body work. And then we'll meet in the middle somewhere like that. Yeah. All right, that's where it'll be. It's not gone. We didn't sell it. You won't see it in my garage until it's ready to go back on the frame. So we'll come in and we'll check on it here and there. And when Joe comes to visit, he's going to have to still wet sand and buff the roof. So There it is. We just stacked the fenders on top. This is all stuff that we don't need to deal with. There it is. Nothing else to do here. Nothing else. Body cart. Actually, I'm going to take those ratchet straps before I leave because I use them for work. <laughs> and the fenders are here. The body's there. That's it. We'll shut the lights. Move on to the next chapter. Big deal here. Big deal for me. Big deal for Big J. Big deal. These projects are taking a big turn. So, well, we should, we're, we're getting reacquainted to the new scene here. That's right. It's an important part of this. You got to you, sit with you it. See, you see Big J in the corner there in his office with his feet up? <laughs> We're just talking about how minty we intend to make this frame after we, of course, do the rust repair necessary. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to, because the OG and the OE happen to be outside. Yeah, and it's 71 degrees and sunny. 71 degrees and sunny. Look at that. Look at how nice, beautiful skies, wispy clouds, car, car. Yep. So I think we're going to take a roll to a new uh, Cars and Coffee event that's happening. And then decide what the rest of the day slash weekend brings. But this is it, guys. This is the big move. This is what's next. It's working on the frame. And we're going to go over some numbers that are on this frame. Like I said earlier, what makes this frame special and why we're not reframing the car. We're going to do our best to save this particular frame. To put that particular body on to save that one particular W31. All right. We'll catch up with you later once I get this place a little bit more situated. You think that was the door? This building here, this building here was the shop that John and Scott and Rob rented years ago. But I don't, I thought the door was to the left. You think I the think door was there? The door right here. This garage door there? And I actually remember stopping in. Rob was putting, I think, subframe connectors in the Nova. Yeah. And you were in the back right corner with the with the seventy one man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're painting the trim on the headlight bezel on the the, uh, the yeah. dash bezel or something. That's the building that was a. And I believe this was a body shop like in the seventies and eighties. And actually, there's a particular sixty nine Camaro SS in the area. That was owned by the guy that ran this body shop. Back, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. yeah, so anyway, cool. We're just driving by on another cruise, and I figured let's just pop in. But all right, that's that, man. 
Better get used to that view, everybody. That's what you're going to see from now on. There's the OG in the corner. We actually took that car out with uh, John Solrail Camino. We went to a Cars and Coffee. And, man, that car just runs so well. I guess it's pretty well sorted out. All right, well, here's the deal. Can I adjust you better? Yeah. Here's the deal. This is what's next. This is... Right. Yeah, this is what we're going to be working on. Uh, well, let me, let, me move it let me move it around here a little bit. This is what we're going to be working on for the foreseeable future. This is the frame for that W31 that we uh, we covet so much. My W31 shirt, John got me for my birthday. So the VIN number is on there, and I'll show it to you at a later date, and we're going to go over some of the numbers that are on the frame. Not very, very exciting stuff, but certainly stuff to certainly stuff to take heed to, you know, when you're restoring this type, this type of stuff. It pays to kind of keep the steering in place. Um, we're going to start on the rear end here, and, uh, you know, I'll show you guys some of the, some of the rough, you know what? How about we just do this? It's easier to do it that way. Okay, so we're going to start tomorrow, probably not today. We're going to start tomorrow with stripping this thing down. Pull the 342 rear out. That's a correct O rear. And I'll record a lot of this stuff because, you know, maybe not everybody has the opportunity to do a body off frame restoration or they don't have the masochistic qualities, as it were, that get one involved in a project like this. It's easy and enticing to detail the top of the frame when you're doing this, but I'm sure you're going to hear me say it a lot in the future. What you see when it's done is the underside. So we're going to strip this thing. We're going to flip it upside down. We might put it on those sole horses that we've had the body on in the past. You know, we have the hoist here. We can flip it. And we'll kind of inventory things. A lot of the stuff we don't need. I don't need the wheels right now. For that matter, I don't need the rear end. I don't need the springs. I don't need any of the front suspension. I don't need any of that in my way right now. What I need is the empty frame. And then, you guessed it, metal work. Lots of welding, lots of repairs. I'll bring you guys along as best I can, but this was the big move, okay? I think this might actually close out the next video. Uh, this is what we've been working on getting done. We wanted to get this done at the two-year mark. The two-year mark would technically be October 8th. October 8th, that car came in this garage as a rolling car. And if all goes well, the production date on this frame, which I'll show you again later, is March 19th. If all goes well, and I have a productive winter, we'll be putting that body back on this frame by St. Patrick's Day. And we'll celebrate this car, this frame's birthday by receiving the body that it has only ever had on it. All of these self-imposed deadlines are things that help motivate you in these projects, certainly motivate me. So, all right, look, you saw it happen. You saw the body get built. You saw it get pulled out of here. You saw the frame get sandblasted. You saw the frame come in here. That's it. That's all I have to share right now. Next time you see us, we'll have some more stuff done on this frame. And I'll bring you guys along the way as much as we can. All right, thanks for watching. Stick around. This is a long project. It's going to be a long project. It's been a long project. So if you're looking for those, you know, 30-day builds, sorry. Can't do it that way. All right, till next time. Oh, yeah.